Hello, my name is Una Mullally and I'm a journalist, author, broadcaster and other things and I'm editing an upcoming anthology on the movement for reproductive rights in Ireland. So, context. Abortion is illegal in almost every circumstance in Ireland, North and South. This is depressing and it is oppressive, but people are trying to change things. The movement to repeal the Eighth Amendment, which is our constitutional ban on abortion, has been growing hugely over the last few years. This movement is vibrant and urgent. It is coloured by righteous anger, people power, protest and good old fashioned activism. But it's also coloured by literature and art and creativity. This fight has created a new energised grassroots movement. Protests are growing, groups are forming and for the first time women all around Ireland are opening up about being forced to travel for medical care. Now as this movement grows and develops, What's become clear is the amount of art and literature that is being created around it. There are poems and murals, essays and personal testimonies, photography projects and graphic design. What I want to do with an anthology is capture this movement through the literature, personal stories, opinions, photography, art and design that is emerging from it so beautifully and collected in an anthology that has never been made before. Here are the three reasons that I think this anthology is worth making. Number one, it will feature amazing writers, poets, artists and others that will stimulate and reflect a moment of huge social importance in Irish history. Number two, these voices need to be heard. In newspapers and across broadcast media, the debate around reproductive rights is a pitched battle, but we know that there is much more nuanced and smart writing there to be heard and collected. And number three, in years to come, when women in Ireland do have bodily autonomy, we will have this book as a piece of archive, a reference point for where the movement was, how it grew, and the dignity and beauty of the art that arose from it. But I need you to help make that happen, because this won't be your average anthology. The publisher Unbound is on board, and they make beautiful books, such as Letters of Note and The Good Immigrant. But in order to make those books, they operate on a crowdfunding model, which is where you come in and which is why I'm asking you to help. The production of the anthology is crowdfunded and then the book is put together and sold like any other. In this anthology, we'll be bringing you fantastic writers, household names from Ireland and abroad to write on this topic. And we'll also be compiling some beautiful existing writing and art that has already sprung from this movement. This anthology will be inspiring. It'll be funny, and it'll be touching and it'll be vital. And I'm passionate about equality issues, social justice issues and history. My first book, In the Name of Love, was an acclaimed oral history of the movement for marriage equality in Ireland. And what I learned from writing that and from campaigning on issues of social justice in general is that if we don't collate our history as it happens, it gets lost. A civil rights movement is not just about the goals it has, the methods it uses, the things it achieves, but it's also about the art and creativity that emerges from it. The placards and the poems, the speeches and the t-shirts, the writing and the storytelling. And by pledging your support to this project, you'll help make this anthology come into being. And your support will also earn you exclusive rewards detailed on this page. So once the project is funded, hopefully, and the book is published, we'll be giving a share of the proceeds to abortion rights campaigns in Ireland. So in funding this book, you'll also be funding the cause itself. Please help us make this anthology happen. Together we can collect and celebrate and remember this vital movement as it happens. Thank you.